there are legitimate questions being asked about how the country's debt situation got to where it is. Mr. Speaker, let me state emphatically that we have not been reckless in borrowing and in spending. It is worth noting that the debts we are serving were not only contracted during the period of this administration. Mr. Speaker, we will spend money on things that are urgent, to build roads and bridges and schools, to train our young people and equip them to face a competitive world. Considering the amount of work that still needs to be done on the state of our roads, the bridges that have to be built, considering the number of classrooms that need to be built, the furniture and equipment needs at all stages of equipment, of education, considering the number of children who should be in school and are not, considering the number of towns and villages, that still, considering the number of towns and villages that still do not have access to potable water, I dare say no one can suggest we have overborrowed or spent recklessly. Yes, I've been in a hurry to get things done. And this includes massive developments in agriculture, education, health, irrigation, roads, rails, roads, rails, ports, airports, sea defense, digitization, social protection programs, industrialization and tourism.